This is Linda Keith, CPA from the Better Banking Summit, and I want to share with you one specific tip for my presentation, what to do when the numbers say no, but your good judgment says yes. How can you make that loan? Now, in that full presentation, I actually questioned both assumptions, that the numbers really say no, that your judgment really should say yes, and let me share with you one way you can get the judgment wrong. It's actually a mistake to compare your several years tax returns too soon in the process. The num Let me give you one example. The numbers could be dropping taxable income, but what you discover once you actually take a closer look is that business is doing so well that they've now started reinvesting and purchasing equipment. And this year they purchased quite a bit of equipment. They were able to take the $500,000 first year write-off on that equipment so once you take the bottom line and actually add back depreciation, you start to see that, geez, business is doing quite well compared to the prior year. It's a proven fact that once you draw a conclusion, your brain starts looking for ways to support that conclusion. So if you way too soon in the process conclude that business is down, your brain is looking for evidence and you are not as, subject, uh, as objective on this loan as you would like to be. Lending subjective, and we have to fight against drawing conclusions too soon that will lead us down the wrong path. So that's just one idea from the presentation, what to do when your numbers say no, but good judgment says yes, how to make that loan at the Better Banking Summit. It's betterbankingsummit.com. It's live October 15 to 18, and the recordings are available afterwards. And I'm one of 10 presenters, all of whom are providing some free resources. Mine are my three favorite worksheets, including the worksheet for cash flow analysis. So betterbankingsummit.com. This is Linda Keith, CPA. Hope to see you there.